Oh, my heart is dinky doo. It's just me, Scotty McClure. Welcome, 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 I say. So much to talk about tonight, and so little time to do it in. Tuesday evenings pop up just to say hi to every single one of you, and welcome, welcome, welcome. Good to be with you. I hope you're well, and uh, I hope you can come and join me this evening, because we've a lot to get through, and again, so little time to do it in. Dear girl is watching, thank you, do. Good evening, says D. Good evening, D. Welcome to Scotty McClure's Tuesday evening pop-up, just for you to say thank you, do. See how everybody is. Last night was a resounding success. And you'll see a couple of thousand of you have joined in the Big Bank Holiday Quiz. You can't beat it, can you? Fantastic. Live television. Excellent stuff. Scotty McClue, just for you, saying Dinky Doo, the world's top broadcaster and the first lord of the internet. Scotty, you old sea dog, are you polishing the ship's bells? Polishing eight bells, Sean Anderson, but not when eight bells toll. Who wrote that one? Anybody know? Eddie Dobby Senior Dinky Doo. Charles Diver. Hello, mister. Hello, Charles. Lovely to have you with us. And welcome, welcome, welcome. Spread the word. Scotty McClue is live just for you. Dinky Doo, Rab McDonald's there. And Sharice, hi, Dinky Doo. Hello, me old timer, says Rab. Hello, Rab. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm just going to get the sharing on the go early, guys. And then it lets everybody know that Scotty McClue is with you. Dinky Doo. Can you see a bit of a shadow there? I'm just noticing there's a wee bit of shadow. Wait till we see if we can sort that. Does that eradicate the shadow? It might be that lamp on behind me. Oi, oi. Question, Scotty McClure. Go on, then. Ask me anything. Never a problem. There we are. I'm going to put this lamp out, guys, because I think it's causing a shadow. Is that? No, it's not the lamp that's doing it. There we are. We'll put it back on again, then. Thought it was the lamp that was causing the shadow. We'll see if we can eradicate it. There we are. Is that better? No, that's still the same. Right, there we are. We need to find out what is causing the shadow. Where are all our top lighting experts? Excellent stuff. Let us know what is what. David Burrell, dinky do. I can't share, Scotty. How is this? Sharice, you ask me this every night. I do not know. I am not my sister's keeper. I am not there. I don't know your Facebook setup. I can't help you. So there we are. Good evening, Scotty, says Robbie. Good evening, Robbie. Dinky do and a very warm welcome to Scotty McClue's Tuesday evening pop-up just for you. Ghosts. Scotty, oh, it might be ghosts. Yes, somebody's walking over my broadcast. Excellent, they're around there. James Mayer, thank you, do. Rigged, Scotty. Sharice, you mustn't think that everything's rigged in life. You might have made a wee mistake or something like that. It's ghostly in the shadow. You live on the radio, says Kirsty Smith. No, no, are you live on the radio? Oh, yes, this is live, Kirsty. This is broadcast throughout the world. Good evening, Scotty. Just arrived at Glasgow Central from London, says Stephen Menzies. Welcome, Stephen. Lovely to have you with us. And dinky do, Gavin McVicker's watching. Hello, Scotty, says Paul Spencer. If you've just joined us, folks, welcome, welcome, welcome. Kirsty Smith, dinky do, dinky do to you as well. Hello, Scotty, says Christopher Love. Excellent stuff. Welcome, welcome, welcome to every single one of you. The Scotty McClure Tuesday evening pop-up, just to say hi and dinky-doo to every one of you. There's up to 1.8 billion people on Facebook. I see no reason why they all can't join us live for the Scotty McClure Tuesday evening pop-up, dinky-doo. Ian Walkman, Scotty, how's yourself? Very well, Ian. Thank you for asking. Lovely to have you with us. And dinky you do. Share, share, share. Yes, everybody get sharing. Let's get sorted here. Let's get let's get this show on the road. I say, excellent. Right. There we go. Now then, um, who have we got here? Sharice, excellent. Lots of smiles. That's what we're looking for. A good few more smiles. There we are. We're up here and I shall just share, guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put live now. And you must tell everybody, right? 
live now. There we are. Share. You can do the same. I need to sort this out so I don't have to have a wee key around you. Uh, have you been buying a budgie, Scotty? Says he's Why? Why do you ask? Wendy, going to watch River City soon, says Derek. All right, so you can watch me. I can hear your phone alerts. No, no, it's just letting you know who's coming on. Shout out, Scotty, says Die Die Mac. There's Grathilda watching. Rivers in the city. Right, I'm going to share now. Share in public. That's it, share in public. Isn't that fantastic? Who wrote 28 Bells Toll? Eddie Doby Sr. Come on now. You should know the answer to that. Very famous Scottish author. Hi, dear, says Grathilda. Hi, Grathilda. Mike Henfield watching. Dinky you do, Mike. Lovely to hear from you. Can we have a Glen Gary? We might have a Glen Gary. Scotty is Facebook's best dressed man. Popped a handkerchief in tonight. Can you see that? I'll sit myself up. I've got a cushion there. And uh, we'll see what we can do with that. Right, I'm going to do some more sharing. Share to a page. Let everybody know what's happening. Can you all do the same? There we are. This machine is a bit slow. I've got a lovely cushion here. I'm just going to... There we are. I'm just going to pop that underneath me and see if we can uh, can manage to raise me up. You raise me up. Excellent. Alistair McLean, you're absolutely right. He used to write for the Glasgow Herald. Very dapper, says Lindy Pops. I know, Lindy. It's wonderful, isn't it? So there we go. Right. Oh, am I too high up now? How's that, guys? Is that the game? That's the ticket, McLean there. Behave you, says John Adams. Scotty, what do you think the result will be in Sunday's Old Firm game? Very, very hard to predict the results. That's why people go to the game. If I gave you the result, nobody would turn up. We don't want that, do we? Uh, see, Willie uh, will ref. No, we're not talking about that, John Wilson. So there we go. Sorry about that. We can't mention names in that way. So what I'll do, John Wilson, I will take that comment out for you. There you go. There we go. No names and no pack drill on here apart from the people themselves because these people don't have the right of reply and we want that, don't we? Share, share, absolutely. A cup of char. Ah, Calvin Allen's watching. Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us now. I'm just going to share and I'm going to let everybody know that I am live now. Okay, so I will put up live. Now, live now, join me. How about that? Not that I'm falling apart, but I think that might be quite nice. Is that okay, do you think, folks, to put up live now, join me? So there we go. I think that would be an excellent way to invite people. Live now, join me. Okay, there we are. Live now, join me. Good. Right, and I share that with everybody on the Scotty McClue page, and that will let them know what dinky do. Taxes are bad. Three pounds to get in here, says Derek Jimmy Walker. Uh, live, Scotty McClue live now, folks. Join me. Excellent, Charisse. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 that Scotty McClue is live on Facebook Live, the World Stop broadcast platform. I'm off tomorrow, so I'll have a wee dram out of my quich. Do you call it a quich or a quich? Somebody said to me, it's a kuch. How many inches are in the measure of a horse in hands? You never said last night. You were absolutely spot on. It's four, isn't it? It's a hand. It's a hand. It's four inches. Love your cup. Do you like that? That's wonderful. Argyle pottery. So they are Danoon pottery. Ooh. Oh, and the tea inside it is absolutely lush. You can't beat it. A glass, says Jalice. A glass. There we are. A wee glass, please. I can remember being at the Royal Highland Show. And two old farmers obviously hadn't seen each other for some length of time. And one of them goes up to the barn and the barn lady says, um, What can I get you, sir? And he says, Could I get a bottle of whiskey, please? And two tumblers. <laughs> so there we are. Is it a pint? I like the cup. It might be getting on for a pint. Yes, it's certainly, it's certainly quite good. It's very good for a hot chocolate 
on a Friday night. So there you are. Pat it doon. Okay, pat it doon. There we are. Uh, excellent stuff. If you've just joined us, a very, very warm welcome. If you're wondering what on earth's happening on your Facebook page, you're watching the world's top broadcaster, Scotty McClure. Capital S, small c, O double T I E. Capital M, small c, capital C, L U E. Right? Capital S, small c, O double T I E. Capital M, small c, capital C, L U E. Scotty McClure. Nice, pleasant, tight looks of the game. Oh, that's the game, I'll tell you. Um, Derek Watts T. So there we are. I don't know. I, I love when uh, Sharice speaks in code. No wonder she was one of these CB enthusiasts. What am I hitting you with tonight, dear? One nine for a rig check. Uh, Dad's got a two-pint cup, says Michael Butley. Well, that's right. But, I mean, if you need another cup, then you're going to have to go a place, aren't you? You know what I mean? Because you've got four pints in you then, which is quite a lot of tea. Tea, says Derek Jimmy Walker. Yes, tea. Absolutely, that's tea that I've got in my supping cup. Excellent stuff. Now, is this a good time to do a pop-up? I ask you. All right. Does this time suit you better than five o'clock or six o'clock? Do let me know. Stuart Main's watching. Didn't you do? Welcome, Stuart. Lovely to have you with us. And of course, everybody watching this, Nicola Malone McPhail is watching. Scotty, can you shout out to my mate Hugh? He's had a bummer of a day. So there you are. Poor old Hugh is at a duff day. I assume that's what a bummer means. And um, we wish him strength and we wish him all the best. Scotty McClure with a Tuesday evening pop-up just for you, dinky do. Tell ten to tell ten to tell ten to tell ten. Um, what does in Hitsy come back out? Don't know what you're talking about there, Robbie. You've obviously got yourself lost. You're at the keyboard fighting. It's a good time for me, says Eddie Doby Senior. Yes, I think, Eddie, a lot of people are just chilling. Would it have been better popping up maybe earlier than 7, just to let everybody know we were on? Uh, 7 perfect for weekdays, says Robbie. Yep, excellent. I think it's a very, very good time. And who knows, we might do... A little bit of the quiz later, if you're very, very good, because that went down an absolute storm last night. Everybody loved it. What a treat. Uh, shout out to my Papa Tam, who's listening in as well, says Steve Hagus. So there we are. Dinky do. Kenny Ogg's watching. Welcome, Kenny. Lovely to have you with us. You're watching Scotty McClure, the world's top broadcaster. This is the big one. Facebook Live just for you, Dinky do. Ooh. Now, more sharing, lots and lots of sharing. 5,559 people have uh, liked Scotty McClure. Excellent stuff. So there we are. Um, yes, we know that, Robbie. Very nice. Too much information. Sarah, Charlie, Oscar. There we are. Charlie Lima, Uniform Echo. Oi, oi. What's the read then, Scotty? <laughs> Excellent stuff. Very, very good. So that's Scotty McClure in CB language. Very, very good. Can you say hello to Stuart Cooper? Is it Cooper or Cooper? Says uh, Kenny Og. Of course I can, Kenny. No problem at all. Lindy Pops, I loved your radio show from years ago. What a fantastic show that was. And uh, who knows what the future might bring? Mm -hmm. Nudge, nudge. Nudge, nudge. Wink, wink. A nod and a wink. Yes. Love your voice, says Lindy Pops. I thank you, Lindy Pops. Very kind of you. It's the only one I've got. So there we are. Although I do do a few accents for entertainment purposes, you know, and you have to guess what they are, that sort of thing. Oi, 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 says Sharice. She's uh, attention-seeking tonight. Why are you attention-seeking, Sharice? Normally you sit quietly in the background and watch the program. You seem to be trying to join in tonight for some reason. Uh, Kenny Ogg, Kirkcaldy's step toes. <laughs> harsh, harsh, Stuart. Kenny, just you ignore him. None of the rest of us will fall for that at all. Right, folks, if you've just joined us, a very, very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClure, the first lot of the internet, the world's top broadcaster just for you, with a Tuesday evening tea time pop-up. So there we are. I'm on mute then. So, no, you're not on mute. Pimsky. Says Kenny. So there we go. What does that mean, Pimsky? 
Yes, is it Russian or uh, what have, is it like um, Previet and Dosvidania, things like that, Pimsky, they <laughs> call excellent stuff. Right, um, ha, 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 says Kenny. So this is getting a good laugh tonight, actually. We like that. We like our viewers to get a good laugh. This is the new television, guys. How many television programs can you pop on, not have any commercials, and they are absolutely 100% live and unscripted. It's Italiano. So there we are. See, si, see, si, see, si, Charisse. Yes. Presto, presto, longto, longto. Um, rallentando, fortissimo. Mon the Wraith Rovers, says Kenny. Are they playing tonight? Hello, sir. How are you? Says Saifula Jarwar. Saifula Jarwar, where are you watching from? Lovely to have you with us. Is it Jarwar or Jarwar? How do I say it? Uh, Peace be kid cool foy. I'm Spartacus Lakeski. So there we are, Spartacus. Excellent to Spartacus watching the Scotty McClure show. Mod the jazz. We are the people, says Sharice. Sharice, I take it from that you might be a fan of the Glasgow Rangers. Would this be correct? Mm -hmm. Excellent stuff from Dubai. Yes, Saifuna Jarwar, you told me before. My sincere apologies, sir. You are quite right. I've got it now. Excellent. I'm with you, Saifuna Jarwar. And I'm, I'm saying your name properly, yes? Very important. So Saifuna Jarwar is watching Scotty McClure in Dubai there. This will go down very, very well in Dubai. Share and share, Saifuna, with all your friends and your groups, and we are live big style in Dubai and across the world. Hello, hello, says Gordon Good. Hello, Gordon. Lovely to have you with us, and dinky do from me, Scotty McClure, and from the rest of the universe. Excellent stuff. Um, I hope you're uh, enjoying the show tonight. Lovely to have you with us, of course. Slight change in the time tonight. So there you are. What people says Stuart Kusa. Right, I shall put that to you. Sharice, you're saying we are the people. What people are you? All right, Sharice, I'm away for a jar. Right, is that a jar of honey or a jar of jam? I think you should tell us. Uh, Kenny got the Wraith Rovers mug off Amazon, says Derek Jimmy Walker. Very good, Derek Jimmy Walker. I'm sure there'll be many, many a Wraith Rovers mug uh, sold. Definitely, definitely. So they, <laughs> many a Wraith Rovers mug will be being sold. Excellent stuff. <laughs> I'm not saying that's one that you've had for years and you'll be selling it. I mean, it'll be being sold to you. Steve Vegas, dinky do. Excellent stuff. Lovely to have you with us. You're watching Scotty McClure. Little bit of sharing going on now. I'll just share again. Let everybody know. There it is. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. And I'll share to the group and let them know that we are live, the Scotty McClure group. If you can all do the same. She's on the marmalade, says Robbie. Steve Higgins says Rangers. So there you are. Um, I can't my stomach say we're laughing, says Sharice. She's buckled. Are you buckled hen? Absolutely. Are you the buckled hen? I've heard of the speckled hen, but the buckled hen in the lang tune. Dearly, dearly, dearly me. Uh, Kenny, uh, we are the people, says uh, she's, What people are you, though? Right? You're saying you are the people, but we need to know what people are. You are. Rab Bruce is watching. Thank you, do, Rab. Lovely to have you with us. And a very warm welcome to the Scotty McClue Tuesday evening tea time pop-up just for you. Random, random, random. So there you are. I like to see who's about a touch of the Crocodile Dundees. Mick Dundee here. Right? So that's what it's about. Mark Connolly says, Rangers. So what he's saying is, they are the people, right? The main people, says Gordon Good. Robert Brawley says, hail, hail. So what's that to do? Is he a weather forecaster or what's he telling me? Mm, there we are. Shout out to Robert Brawley. Hail, hail. The Rangers, we are the people, says Sharice. Is that different from hail, hail? Then Sharice, you have to help out here. 
Going out on Sunday, pal, says Kenny Og. Are you, Kenny, where are you off to? As uh, somebody asked you out, or are you just taking a chance? I'm dressed as a woman right now, says Shane. Right, are you, Shane? Excellent stuff. Well, um, I hope you're enjoying that. Are you in disguise? Do you work undercover? You know, or should we not pry, of course? Say nothing. Not a word. Zip it, I say, zip it. Uh, Stephen Moon is watching. Lovely to have you with us, Stephen Dinky Do. Glory hunting, Kenny, says Stuart Cusser. Wait till I share to the Scotty McClue group. You can all do the same. Pimsky Kid Cool Foy says that Rangers are not so good in his opinion. So there you are. Tranny's in the house, but Sharice, you don't need your tranny. All you need is your internet to hear Scotty McClue. All right, you don't have to. The tranny's for when I'm on the radio. So there you are. Hello, Mr. Scotty. This is Kathy Weed. Kathy Weed. Dinky doo. Lovely to have you with us. So there we are. Kenny Og says fail. So I think he's misspelt hail. So there you are. Kenny Og, I think, meant hail, hail. So there we are. Uh, we are the people, our rangers, and hail, hail, are Celtic. Good. So that's a balance. That's lovely. Got the rangers blue and red shirts and coat, says Derek. And then, of course, the green and white for the hoops. Mon the hoops, as people shout. Language, please, says Sharissa. No, 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 you can say, you can say, Rangers, that's, that's all right. Perfectly acceptable. Fitbot is mince. You're not allowed to knock out your opposition, says Robbie. So there we are. He prefers it. Scotty McClure, of course, is a black belt in karaoke. So there you are. That's a knockout. So they fail to spell, says Eddie Dovey Sr. So, <laughs> wonderful. Rangers, the world's most successful club, says God. Is that right? I'll check out my financial times then and just ensure that you're spot on there. I like to keep an eye on the financial pages. So there we are. But I'm very glad to hear that there's a Glasgow club that's very successful. There we are. And the most successful in the world. Does everybody agree with that? Scotty, are you wearing suspenders? Now, is that the American suspenders? Is that stuff to keep your socks up? I ask you. Uh, good Gordon, says Charisse. So there we are. I, I take it that's not predictive text. You meant to say, good Gordon. Rangers, a club that cost a pound. So, so there you are. So that sounds successful. If you can get a football club for a pound, that in my eyes is success. Big time. Uh, Partick Thistle for Scotty. Partick Thistle, very good. I remember asking the policeman which way to Far Hill. He said, follow the crowd. Ended up in Asda. Excellent. Away and phone super school board. John Adams is telling all the football people. And keep off the Scotty McClue pop-up. Excellent. Richie McCusker's watching. Thank you, Richie. Lovely to have you with us. You two teams need to realise that we are worldwide. And a lot of people won't have a clue what's going on. They might never, ever, ever have heard of the Rangers. They might never, ever, ever have heard of the Celtic. Gordon, good. Said, I said, good Gordon. So there you are. Gordon Drysdale is watching. All the Gordons tonight are Gordon for me. Uh, Rangers established 2012. So there we are. Now, when were the Celtic established then? Was it 1885? Have I got that right? But they didn't actually uh, play as the Celtic till... Is that right? 1880, 1881, was it? And they didn't play till 1885. Was that right? Have I got that right? Woohoo! Says she. Woohoo! She's obviously, you're like a hoolet. Now, does everybody know what a hoolet is? Joseph Patrick Doherty. Hello. Hello, Joseph Patrick Doherty. 1888, says Sharice. Yeah, but were they not actually established in 1885? So there you are, but. They didn't sort of come into being as the Celtic till 1888. I don't know. So there we are. Uh, Pacific Shelf. Hold on. Kenny Og. You have to be awfully careful. So there we are. Language, language. We've got young people watching. 1888 as professionals, but a few years before as a club 
I think 1885 as a club. So there we are. Kenny all guess. No, don't be cheeky up now, Kenny. We're not having any of that on here. So there we go. We all like a potato. Excellent. I shall just take that out. Now, uh, remember not to put any comments like that up. Ian Kerr's watching Dinky Do. Joseph Patrick Doherty, 1887, established as a club. So there you are. All right, so it's Dinky Do. Ooh. Good in good. 1872, he's saying. Is that right? What was that, Gordon? What happened in 1872? Apart from the fact it was eight years before my lovely grandfather was born. Um, and I found that my great-grandfather must have been born in 1823. Now, that's not bad, is it? My great-grandfather, 1823. Woo! There we are. Incredible piece of Scottish history. All these famous people going back in the McClure line. So there we are. Right, we've had enough range of Celtic stuff, so let's drop that now. Anybody that comes on mentioning football will get a lifetime ban and will never, ever get to watch Scotty McClure again. So there you are. Where's your hobnob? Says John Adams. No hobnobs tonight on a strict diet, of course. Watching my figure, as always. Trying to get down to 20 stone. Yellow card. Yes, red card, actually, Jimmy. Yes, red card. McClure's got the red card. Well, wait a minute. We might just have a yellow card. Hold on. Right, there we go. Okay. Everybody got the message? Yellow card. There we are. Just established 1872. Watching your figure grow, says Greg Drysdale. Yes, absolutely. Thinking of giving myself over to the Beech Grove Garden. I was very upset today. I got a letter from the council. They're going to pull me down and build a block of luxury flats. Um, so there we are. This guy's got his crossing clan tree back to 1693. So they are around the time of the Glencoe Massacre. Amazing. Uh, October the 12th should be a holiday, says Craig Gallagher. Uh, sticky pad, says Sharice. No, no. Yellow card. Okay. So there we are. I am an amateur referee. A shout out for Robert Dean from Australia. He's just come out of uh, in his civil partnership with his boyfriend. Excellent stuff. Dinky do. Uh, best on the box, Scotty Powell, says Richie. No problem at all, Richie. Excellent stuff, I say, and dinky do to you. And uh, Royal Wedding, says Craig Gallagher. Yes, the Royal Wedding. Excellent stuff. We like our Royal Weddings. Good evening, Sir Nottingham in the house. Patrick Paracolas. Oh, sorry. Good evening, sir. Nottingham in the house. Nottingham is in the house. Nottingham has arrived. Dinky do, I say. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you've just joined us, you're watching Scotty McClue, first lord of the internet, the world's top broadcaster. This is the big one. Can we have a share, please? Here, and I'm just going to say uh, live now. Live now. Join me. Yes. There we are. Live now. Join me. And this is going on the Scotty McClure group. So there we are. Share in a group. Can you all do the same, guys? Let everybody know. Tell 10 to tell 10. Scotty McClure is live on the big one. Facebook Live. Just for you, dinky do. there it is, the Scotty McClure fan group, and up it goes. Welcome, Nottingham. Welcome to Scotty Land, says Robbie. Thank you. Nottingham was 44 miles from my house when I lived in Sheffield. Share, 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 says John Adams. Absolutely. I'm just going to share now. That's me clicking share. Is it sharing? Yes. Lovely. And it's just shared with the Scotty McClure fan group. I hope you're all a member of that. Uh, shared to 5,000 pals is Kenny Og. Thanks, Kenny. Very much appreciated. And I hope you told them to start watching big time right now. So there we are. I'll just check that it's there. I'm just checking that it's arrived. Have you ever had an email back and it says, Postmaster? 
you know, and it says uh, that uh, that you don't actually, they haven't received it. Sometimes it gets bounced back immediately. Sometimes it's days. Have you ever had that? Have you ever had a problem with that? So there we go. I'm just sharing, guys, and I'm just going to like big style. There we go. Excellent. Right. That's that. Now I can go back to my page. Many years ago when you were Nottingham, I've got a tape that you did. Excellent. So who was that? I can't go back. Tell us who it was. Yes, pal, says Kenny. Excellent, Kenny. You told them. You let them all know. Good. They should come and join us now with a wee bit of luck. With a little bit. Yes, absolutely. Very, very important. If you've just joined us, can I say a very warm welcome? Welcome to Scotty McClue's Tuesday evening tea time pop up just for you live on Facebook Live. It's a random pop up. So it's just who's out there. Depends on if you sent a first or second class email. <laughs> I remember um, sending a letter. Oh, this is many years ago when I lived in the West End of Glasgow. Hey, Liz Lyons watching. Welcome, Liz. Dinky do, my dear. And um, I was applying for a job at the BBC, and my friend came round. We were going out for a light refreshment. Hi, Mr. McLeary. This is Peter Lockwood. Hi, Peter. Lovely to have you with us. We we're going out for a light refreshment in the West End. And he says, what's this you've got? I says, I need to post this. He says, what is it? I said, it's a job at the BBC. He said, you'll no get that. And I said, look, what does it say on there? And in those days, it was maybe fightings or something, the stamp. He went, fight beer. And I said, right. I said, so, whether I get it or not, it's worth the risk. Okay. So that was it. Very posh, said Sharice. Jennifer Cropper. Jeram's watching. Oh, sorry. Jennifer Cropper Jeram. Excellent. I beg your pardon. Is watching. Where from Jennifer Cropper Jeram? Come and tell us. Come and join us and let us know where you're watching from. Now, I know I've got a lot of people watching in the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. I know I've got a lot of people watching in Ireland. I know I've got people watching in Canada and in America and Australia and New Zealand and the Arctic and the Antarctic. Russia, China, Japan, let us know where you're watching Scotty McClure on Facebook from. Let's find the furthest away place and the most exotic place. I can't see that name, Scotty. Edinburgh, says Jennifer Cropper Jaram. Edinburgh's fine. That's um, not the furthest away place, but I agree it's very exotic, particularly at festival time. <laughs> Jacqueline Trotter's watching Dinky Doo. Brian Kelly's in Kinghorn. Very nice. Kinghorn in Fife. Am I right? Have I got that correct? My mobile phone, says Sharice. Of course, you're watching your mobile phone. And you could be. You're a citizen of the world, Sharice. You could be anywhere. The People's Republic of Kilmarnock. So there you are. Alexandria. But not Egypt, says Craig Gallagher. Alexandria out at the bridge over the Leven. The home of the Argyle Motor Works. I tell you, the posh people from the capital are on. Yes, they're just East Coast versions of the Ouija's. I was watching Royal Recipes and there was haggis kebabs. Come on. Ooh, <coughs> very nice. Loch Gelly, says Stuart Cooser. Stuart, I have a slight fright about Loch Gelly because the saddler used to make the belts for the school. So there you are. I can remember that were from Loggelly. And you got the, the finest Loggelly on the palms when I was at school for talking and laughing. So as you can see, it cured me. Uh, Kirkcaldy, says Sherry, and she shouts it, spells it really, really loud. Right, can I have some hearts and smileys, please? What you need to do for that, guys, is tap, 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 de tap, tap, de tap, de tap on your screen. So come on, get on with that. Goodness sake. Ibrooks. It's Kenny Ogg. So there we are. Kenny likes to stay local so that he's handy for the games. There you go. Has anybody got a flat in Ibrox or in Hamden that overlooks the ground and they don't ever need to go to a game? And tell me, so let me know if you have, if you if you overlook the game. Or Celtic Park, one of the big grounds. Has anybody got a flat that overlooks the ground? Uh, folk just asked, where is Loch Gelly? I know Loch Gelly. Uh, too many people for Fife. They're probably all related, says John Adams. 
So there we are. Jason Fife, no relation, is watching. That's F-Y-F-E. Good timing, Jason. And it allowed me to do the gag. So the <laughs> John, I don't think so, says Sharice. I think she takes Cambridge at that. Uh, is it Cambridge? No, Umbridge. Sorry. There we are. And you? Derek Jimmy Walker's in Chatham in Kent. As I say, you'll see my uncle's name on the war memorial there, the, the Navy memorial. Don't type to me in that tone of voice, says Eddie Doby Sr. Quite right, Eddie Doby Sr. We have got to have standards. Loch Jelly. <laughs> yes, Ibrox, by I keep my curtains shut, says Patrick Para Collins. So he can actually watch over Ibrox, but he doesn't go to the games. He shuts his curtains when the football's on. Now, the second question I was going to ask you, if you've got... Right, and remember, we'll call a truce on the uh, on the yellow card, okay? We'll call a truce. Yes, you can mention here. Can I have a dinky do for my pregnant girlfriend, Kirsty? Darren Stevenson, you can have anything you like for your pregnant girlfriend, Kirsty. So there we are. We send her strength. Fantastic stuff. Uh, Sharice is laughing. She's buckled. Buckled! In Fife, and there was something called Fife that came on there. It's uh, it's jelly, is uh, or gelly, not jelly. So it's not Loch Jelly, it's Loch Gelly. All right, not Loch Jelly in Fife, Loch Gelly. And when you're something with the Fife, you have to use a lag spoon. <laughs> Excellent stuff. Right now, where was I? Yes, the second part of my question, and as I say, we're having a, a what is it you call it? Uh, you know, when uh, when you can, um, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? When you have a, it'll come back to me. It'll come back to me. Right. Uh, jelly, because they're all a bit wobbly in Loch Gelly. <laughs> That's pushing it a wee bit. So there you are. Dinky do. John, that's you, says Sharice. Bells Hill, Glasgow Mothers. No, Bells Hill, Glasgow. Mother's auntie lived there. No punctuation, you see. Ter terrible to have to mark this. So there we are. Uh, Bells Hill is all one word, Derek Jimmy Walker. Glasgow, uh, and then a comma, and then mother's auntie lived there. Full stop. Excellent. Had to parse you there. Had to parse you. Okay, John says, Sharice, dinky, do. How are we doing for time, guys? You'll not want much more Scotty McClure. I can tell you that. What part of Scotland do you think is the most beautiful? For me, it's Loch Goyle Head. Problem with Loch Goyle Head. Wonderful, wonderful place. When the steamships were operating, and they used to call in at Loch Goyle Head, but there's only one road in and one road out. So very difficult to escape from Loch Goyle Head. So there you are. Uh, cheers, says John Adams. I would have said, what about Loch Gilphead? Now, there's a bonny part of the world. Loch Gilphead and Tarbot, Midargyle. You'll see McClure always likes the Midargyle pipe band who are doing awfully well, I have to say. Luss Village, says Craig Gallagher. What television series was filmed in Luss Village? Right, there's a question for you. What television series was filmed in Luss Village on Loch Lomond side? Govan Hill, says John Adams. Is Govan Hill the most beautiful place in the world? Right, it might be if you're a Govan Hiller. Ben Nevis, says Sharice. Yes, you're at Fort William there, and you go up Ben Nevis. Very nice. Uh, Robbie's got it. Take the high road. Excellent stuff. Take the high road, says Craig. Good. Well done. Take the high road. Can you remember the name of the place in Take the High Road? What was the name of the place that was filmed in Luss Village? Anybody remember? Oh, cheers. Danoon Pottery. The old boy's fishing. Very nice. The North Pole. Says Kenny Og, have you been? Oh, sorry about that, guys. Have you been to the North Pole, Kenny Og? Yes, are you North Polar? Hey, I'll take the low road, says Sharice. No, no, don't take the low road, Sharice. You never know what's going on there. You stick to the high road. 
<laughs> you want to take the low, low road if you're feeling low. Uh, Stuart's got it. Stuart Cusser. Or Cousar. How do I say it? Cousar, Stuart. Glenn Darach. Och, Tarn. Good one, Craig. Very good. So you had Glenn Darach and you also had Och, Tarn. Now, where was the shop? Was it in Glen Darach or was it in Och, Tarn? Uh, I'll be in Scotland for you. So, Sharice, you know your music, Sharice. Nothing gets past you, I say. So, Glen Darach, not Glen Darach, just Glen Darach. I think your predictive text. I live there. Ho, ho, says Kenny Og. Live where? Live in Ibrox or Glen Darach or Och, Tarn or Lost Village. Uh, is it Cooch or Cooch? So, a couch or Cooch? So there we are, couch. So it depends what you're doing. If you're sitting on the cooch, um, so there you are. As long as you're not sitting on the pooch, you have to watch that. Uh, Phil McHugh, so we'll say Couser then, Stuart Couser. Is that right? Uh, Kenny Ogg's in the North Pole, says so Sharice. No, no, he's just a cool dude. Ha, get it, cool. Very nice. Excellent stuff. So there we are. But where was the Blair's shop? Was it in Glendarach or was it in Och? Tarn. Excellent. And Mrs. Mack, where did she live? Yes. <laughs> Wonderful. And who played Mrs. Mack? And who played the minister? So there you are. And uh, not long till we're feeling that here, Kenny Og. Oh, for goodness sake, Charis. A weird cheer yourself up, my goodness me. If you've just joined us, folks, welcome, welcome, welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster, the first lord of the internet, with a Tuesday evening pop-up where we chew the fat. Dinky-doo, I say. Kenny Oggs for five, says Bill Henderson. Aye, and you've to sup with a lying spoon uh, with Ronald McScotty. Excellent stuff. Now, what's the time? Time I wasn't here. Right. So, pushing off time. Lovely, lovely, lovely being with you. Have a fabulous Tuesday evening. Enjoy whatever you're doing. And most importantly, love being you. It's a lovely thing to be. This is Scotty McClure. Dinner Bruch, says John Adams. Yes, what does that mean? It's Gaelic. What does Dinner Bruch mean? In Gaelic. So there you are. Kindalachan. Yes, Kindalachan. Up the A9 there, Kindalachan. Very good. Just uh, opposite uh, opposite Dunkeld and Dalgais. Night pal, says Kenny. Have a great evening, sir, says Patrick. Lovely being with you all. Has the wife been shopping, Mrs. McClure? Yes, she's shouting. The tea's on. So I shall just finish the broadcast. You know, you've got to do what you're told. Scotty McClure say dinky-doo. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody, of waiters in, au revoir, and a cheerio. Cheerio, my heart is, night night, my love, Scotty McClure has left the building. But before he does, dinky-doo.